Welcome back. It is film day here, and we have Dan Guterres with a local IQ. How are you today, Dan? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. We see you brought a special guest. We have uh, a special guest today. <laughs> Stephen Michael Cazada. How you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm uh, good. You might recognize him from uh, Breaking Bad. He plays a character a Gomez. Breaking so, Bad. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a little TV show. Okay. Uh, they're wrapping up right about now. Uh, Some people watch that. Yeah, there's a few. Might be a guy or two. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we brought you in today just to kind of hang out with us and tell us about some of the cool things that you're doing, not just in Breaking Bad, because mm -hmm. we could we could just turn on our TVs and see that. But oh, uh, I know. Are, you, are, are, are you have to have a longer show to talk about yeah. Breaking Bad? That's for sure. Absolutely. Uh, one of the big things that fascinates me about you is that you're into the community and you've kind of like made the community and embraced the community. And it's not just you, you've got somehow convinced all your co-stars to, to embrace Get the community as, as well. Well, yeah. well, you know, that's what celebrities are supposed to do, in, in my opinion. But I've always been involved in, in the community. You know, I uh, started in, in 1987 doing gang intervention programs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've always been involved with kids, raising money. I spent most of my time raising money for children and programs. And yeah. I've always been that guy. Even when I had holes in my pockets and... and duct taped my suit together to go do stand-up comedy mm -hmm. because you know I had gigs to do and, uh, and I was trying to make ends meet and feed my family. Um, I, I always felt that you know be a part of a community is our responsibility. Uh, even before I had children of my own, I did that, you know, and so uh, uh, it's just who I am. It, 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 I've never changed that, yeah. you know. Uh, but you know, I, the cool thing about what Breaking Bad has done for me is I'm able to do it on a higher scale and a bigger market and raise more money, and that's what I'm appreciative of, yeah. you know. Uh, and then Brian and Aaron and Dean and Betsy and mm -hmm. Anna and RJ and Bob Odenkirk, and you know, now I got all them involved, and Brian's kind of been kind of that, but he, you know, I think I've showed him how important it is. I think for the first time, it's kind of opened his eyes to how important it is to, for celebrities to do that and to give back. And that's what's important about New Mexico, when they talk about how important is this industry to New Mexico, it's very important because we help raise money where the state and federal government do not fund these programs. Right. And I think that's part of our job. Yeah, the other thing is you're not the only uh, New Mexican out of the major cast members no. that are here. Mm -mm. Uh, who else? Anna Gunn. She's okay. from Tezuka, yeah. She grew oh. up in Tezuka. Um, she was born in New Mexico but grew up in Tezuka and went uh -huh. to the, the schools out in Santa Fe and, uh, and then moved off to Hollywood. And then I think her big break was... Uh, um, I don't remember that little, uh, <laughs> that little show on HBO, the Western. Um, hmm. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. You stumped the. the you stumped me. I'm sorry. Stumped the dumb guy. All right. Uh, Dan, Dan and I talked about this uh, last week, and uh, the Breaking Bad's become such a big franchise. Mm -hmm. um, what are you hearing around the set, and what do you what do you guys talk about in terms of extending that franchise in in another way after this? So any movie AMC. we have to look forward to? That, you know, I, would, I don't know if they would ever do a movie. I just don't know if there's enough characters, uh, you know, uh, to make that happen. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think the writer's going to go on and do some other great things. I think yeah, Vince oh, Gilligan's such a genius he, that, he is, that whatever yeah. he comes up next, I think we're all going to follow and we're all going to watch it. And, yeah. We're, and, and, he'll, and again, he'll, he'll get us to, you know, suck us into his, <laughs> Come back his life more. and his story and what he develops. Me, myself, I'm, I'm developing right now a TV series called Duke City. And uh, so we're looking at, you know, uh, possibly starting off with a film, but it's really based on trying to go into back into a television series. So what, what um, is Duke City? Uh, Duke City, I play a undercover DEA agent uh, and by default becomes the leader of the gang that he's, uh, wow. he's uh, the undercover work that he's working for. Um, it also is going to star Wes Studi, uh, oh. uh, the Native American uh, actor that lives in Santa Fe. Yeah. So we're really trying to make it a real New Mexico project to have a lot of New Mexico people involved. Uh, me and two other writers are, are writing it. And we're hoping that, you know, if we get it into, yeah. uh, picked up as, as a series, then we'll bring on a couple more New Mexico writers and then bring a couple of L.A. writers because L.A. writers kind of understand television a little more. Right. Most of They'll us out here, it. we like to write, you know, films. Or I started out as a playwright and stand-up comedy, as you know. I write yeah. my own stand-up comedy stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, in order to go into TV, there's a certain formula yeah. that you got to know. So 
We need to learn that from L.A. But I'm trying to take what L.A. and what Breaking Bad has given New Mexico mm -hmm. and use it to our advantage, which means we need to do the above-the-line stuff. That means producing, executive producing, mm -hmm. really putting out shows that we can sell at a national level. Yeah. Uh, my late-night talk show that I think is going to start airing on New Public coming up, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start airing that here, too. Um, it's got a really huge following. It's got a 3.9 rating. Uh, and so people in L.A. are starting to take notice to that, too. And it's got a good feel. It's got a great band. Yeah. It's fun. You know, and it's a yeah, fun it kind is of a show. show. And it's, it's great for late night, you know. And that's kind of cool that we could compete in late night. And I don't think anybody here ever thought, dreamt of even doing that. Not mm -hmm. even us. We did it to train kids from the data school. Because, again, I go back to kids. Yeah. Um, you know, we're using it to train the data kids and get mm. them involved. in Because that's their dream, dream, to be back there with all these guys, you know, and, and working in the, in the industry. But you, yeah. your background is comedy and playwriting and all that stuff. Yeah. Why, why didn't you do something like Tyler Perry and start your own franchise and buy your own <laughs> island? I put a wig on <laughs> and I looked like my sister. <laughs> well, well, I've, seen, I've seen some of your stand-up comedy. Yeah, how about this? You will get mad. What's this <laughs> shot here? Look at this. How long that's did Captain it? Jack Sparrow, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> really See, they could have casted me. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's actually a, a, a play that I wrote called Homeless. Uh, oh. And uh, it was, it's, it's a really good play. It, it did really well. Uh, I, the first play I wrote was called The First Chicano President, which was a comedy. And <laughs> that did really well. And then I wrote this, it, it, I wrote this drama because I thought I wanted to show another side of, of who I am as a writer. And so I wrote that uh, uh, called, called Homeless. We made a short film, but that, that was when we didn't know a whole bunch about filmmaking. And yeah. So we didn't do as good of a job as we thought we could have. And so but the filmmaking is so easy nowadays. So you could probably grab some students from behind the cameras over here and they'll be able to do it. <laughs> well, you think, you know, but like, you know, when you look at what, what Breaking Bad has done, I'm trying yeah. to emulate that. You know, I mean, the lighting guy I have working on Duke City is... Oscar Lasoya, and if you don't know who La Oscar Lasoya is, I think you should do some research on this guy. He's the number one black and white Latino photographer in the world. Mm. In the world. Okay. Right? And he's there on Broadway. And nobody even knows that he's there. So wow. I'm saying, we have talent in New Mexico we do. that incredible. nobody knows. So now he's coming in the light stuff, and people go, oh my God, I didn't know lighting can look that way. Light is so important. You know, it these. Is elements are so important you get people thinking oh we just throw a light on and film it <laughs> but then it doesn't compare to yeah, the other way then yeah. you start to think why isn't it comparing because there is an art to it and you need to get those people it, who it see it took us a long time to get this right you it, know, no, on yeah. our set for the after after yeah. party it, it was like the fifth episode yeah. where finally we went okay shh, it's about it. time there you go now that looks okay <laughs> so i don't look like a easy. raccoon anymore yeah, it's yeah. Not, yeah exactly or when you stand up to go to there to there there's you a know, big also there's a, not, yeah. <laughs> so it's not an easy thing and so it takes a lot of great talented people like you have back behind the scenes here to make something like this happen do you have yeah. any plans for the future besides all of your community involvement? Uh, <laughs> play more golf or anything like that? Oh, I would love to play more golf. <laughs> Are you a golfer? Uh, I could try. Well, that's I, I, tried right. some, I love laughing while I'm playing golf. I tried some yeah, putt-putt over at Hinkle, and that oh, didn't that, do too I well. Laugh even more. <laughs> we'll get Bubba Watson's golf cart thing, yeah. and then all four of us will go golfing. There you go. That'll I be... played in the, one of the Breaking Bad golf tournaments. Oh, you and, did? And the guys were just great. Mixing around with all the oh, golfers, yeah. and Brian was cutting it up and talking trash about everybody's golf game. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Samuel, uh, Samuel Jackson, Jackson, he yeah. was there. Yeah, I know. I was there. Yeah, that was a great day. It was. Yeah. It was. I had to leave early because I had to go to the mayor's ball, and I was very upset. Yeah. Not at the mayor, but, <laughs> but at the ball. <laughs> and uh, But my wife had already bought her, her dress because I called her. I said, hey, uh. What if we stay at the golf tournament? I bought my dress. <laughs> I'm leaving right now. You know, right being invited to the mayor's ball is just a code for getting a speeding ticket. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I want to play more golf. That's for sure, because New Mexico has some of the best golf courses, you know, around. I mean, oh, it's yeah. just a great. Sure. There are challenges are everywhere you go, and there's a lot of them. We're like Scotland of the desert. We kind of are. We and do you are. still do your stand-up comedy? Like, if so, if we want to go watch one of your shows, is there something we can? Uh, yeah, I mean, I do, but mostly I do it now to raise money for yeah. you know for events and stuff. So I'm doing that. But I will. I'm I'm supposed to be going to Vegas to do Louis, Louis Anderson's room for a weekend. Oh, and, then, cool. and then Caroline's in New York. I'm going to go out and do that for a weekend. So we're negotiating all that right now, and it's just hard because I'm still auditioning for stuff out in LA. Um, but I don't want to move, and so people are yeah. having issues with me moving. I'm a New Mexican. This is where I want to raise my kids, uh, and I owe that to them. I owe that to them. You know, I mean, they they didn't have a lot when I was a starving actor comedian, 
and they supported it. And you know, and I, I owe them. And the one thing I do owe them is a good education, and I, and and for them to hold on to their friends until they graduate. And I told them after they graduate, then I'm out of here, maybe. Then <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no, I probably won't go nowhere. <laughs> we, Hopefully, I'll build a I'll build an industry here in New Mexico. Well, hey, help yeah. build an industry and, in New Mexico. And we can help you. So do I that. don't have to go. We'll play a small part in it. I'd love that. Uh, you guys hang out for. Uh, couple minutes so okay. we have one more segment on the show we'd love to have you join us for the final segment okay sure love to have you glad you're here our film guy Dan Gutierrez is here along with Stephen Michael Cazada co-host Aaron Muffaletto and me Larry Ernst it's a talented group here on the couch <laughs> on Friday morning for the morning brew we'll be right back in just a sec